Hi guys, it's me, Fides, from The Informative, with another sit-down. And this sit-down is not something I even planned. It just occurred to me when I was in Amatatu coming to work this morning. So we were listening to Classic 105, it's a Kenyan radio station. And I commend the drivers usually put that station for people to listen in the morning because it has informative stuff over there. So they were discussing about how marriages are failing nowadays and how people are giving up on each other. So a caller called and he was male. He said, let me tell you, Maina, even if I had my wife has gone or disappeared, I would not even look for her. He was asked why. I am tired. I am tired with her. And then he was asked, for how long have you guys been married? 24 years. 24 years. He was even asked, even if you had she was dead. No, not even when she was, I, I had she's dead. If I had she wants to move out right now, I would call for her movers and ask her to carry anything that she wants to carry from the house. And it got me thinking, a marriage of 24 years, I thought that is a time that you want to grow all together and, you know, build a fam build a, a legacy for your children. I don't know. I don't know. I am not married or I was once in a situation like that and it failed terribly but mine stayed for like three it was two and eight months almost three years but and, oh wait he was asked why do you want to leave this woman he said recently I was having a cup that was one of the reasons I was having a drink in a cup and when I was done she told me I should take the cup to the kitchen because she, uh, because I'm the one who's using the cup and I was like wait a minute a cup to be told to take a cup wait even when you're done with a cup you're not supposed to be told to take it to the kitchen my two, my, my five-year-old daughter some she sometimes she takes them to the kitchen and sometimes they ask her because she's a baby she's still learning that when you're done with your thing you should take it to the kitchen but why should that that be one of the reasons that you're so mad at your wife of 24 years that you want to 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 end the marriage and if you, you could hear that man he was talking with so much bitterness and he was even saying he has someone on the side it's okay you can have people on the side but man for for the men who for me i've accepted that men are polygamous actually the day that i would get married and i i hear that my husband has another wife as long as you don't dis disrespect me as long as you provide for the children I don't I've just come to terms like men are like that but why would you disrespect your wife because you have someone on the side if you can't handle the wives then be with one choose one because I think there are men who have women they have several wives and they never disrespect others and I prefer that to someone who goes around and cheats you know, you'd rather formalize all of them and settle down with them and everyone to have their area of jurisdiction, place them in different counties or different towns, but don't disrespect a woman you've been married for 24 years. I am speaking like this, I have not been married for 24 years, neither am I married right now, but the way that man was talking, I was like, men are supposed to be leaders of the society and if a man can speak like that that is like a 50 year old or 60 something year old i was saddened i was saddened and, and when i say men are supposed to be leaders of society men should lead that means they should lead by example if you did not like your wife telling you to take the cup to the kitchen just tell her nicely hmm? Honey, I would prefer if you're the one who who takes my cups to the kitchen. Or maybe then you're so mad at each other you can't afford to tell her that. But just to keep your marriage, to keep the relationship, you, you have to l humble yourself. I've come to learn that in any relationship, forget about even these marriages, even between me and my daughter, between me and my my cousin, or between me and my friend, they would anger me sometimes, but I'll have to humble myself, yeah? I'm the mother to my child, but that does not give me the right to force her to do everything that I want her to do, you know? Sometimes I'll have to humble myself. Sometimes 
I do something and I'm like, yes, I'm sorry for what I did. I shouldn't have done that. And I'm sorry, you know. Just because you're a leader does not mean you should get mad because things do not go your way. Things will not, will not always go your way. But at the same time, does not mean you should not be listened to. I hope you get the point, yeah? What I'm trying to say is that if you are in a relationship and things are not going right, speak about them. Tell your wife what, what happened to having conversations. Not when you're angry, of course, because when you're angry, you say things that you regret. And even if you say them, apologize. Apologize. Be apologetic. Let us learn to be apologetic when you make mistakes because there's nothing wrong with that. Just leaving someone up and leaving. You know, I don't understand these things. And I've, I've seen it. Just wanting to leave someone because whatever they're doing is not according to what you like or of your preference. What is that? Don't get into marriage. Don't get into marriage if you can't apologize. Don't, don't get to, into marriage if you're full of yourself. Don't get into marriage if you're full of ego. Actually, this person was so full of himself when he was speaking. He was really full of himself. I don't think any relationship can work if you're full of yourself or if it's all about you, 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 you. When I was young, I saw my dad. There's a time my mom had given birth to my sis, the sister that follows me. And I saw him wash clothes. And it doesn't mean he was less of a man because he was helping his wife. And I think a relationship or a marriage is supposed to be a place, it's a cushion for you. You feel safe. You, your husband can help you. If you're sick, he can help you. Your wife can be there for you. If you don't feel safe, then that's, that's not the place to be in. And again, I'd like to ask a question. If you're getting married, why are you getting married, first of all? Are you getting married because you saw John and he's hot, he has a beautiful car? He's tall, he's handsome. Are you getting married to this lady because she's beautiful? Or because of status, because if that, those are the reasons, then it will fail terribly, and I'm not going to lie to you. It will fail terribly. If you get married to a person because of the superficial, it will fail terribly. And that's why I speak about praying about a partner, because there's more into a marriage than the both of you, the human and woman. There will be family involved. If you get married into a messy family, trust to me, people don't realize how, where one comes from, has so much influence that it can affect the entire relationship. The woman can fight for it, the man can fight for it, if, but if there are family ties or family generational curses, you know, those things happen that they are. Let us, let, let's, let's not get married just for the sake of it, just for the sake of being told, just for the sake of people saying, oh, she's married to that man. Oh, can you see the house that they live in? Where the, what about the family? What about the family of this person where they're coming from? And I'm not saying just because someone comes from a dysfunctional family, they don't deserve to get married, or just because someone comes from a family with generational curses, they shouldn't be married, but are you strong enough? Can you withstand that? Are you able? Are you spirit? These things are so spiritual. Are you spiritually equipped to fight it? Because there will always be fights. And how will you fight them? Because those kind of fights, they are fought with prayers. They are fought with so much wisdom. You can get into a marriage when you are okay, but because of the fights that you have experienced and they are spiritual, you come out of it beat beat to the ground yeah so ask yourself that don't just meet a young man or a young woman why am i sounding like an old woman advising but let me just say it don't just meet someone don't just meet someone and you are like this is the person of my dreams you will make it despite you will fight it is hectic look at um Prince Harry and Meghan, I adore that couple, they're beautiful and I, I adore the love that Harry has for his wife. But look at how much they have fought. Look at how it affected Meghan. 
that is I'm, I'm using that as an example because those are people who are known everywhere i can't use people that you don't know but everyone knows megan and harry look at how it took a toll on them but they're still fighting they are fighting up up until now so if you are not equipped if you are not able you end up having children and that's the marriage crumbling they will be affected so you have to ask yourself if you're strong enough you're not just marrying the person that you're seeing in front of you or the person that you love you're also marrying the family yeah so those are things that we need to look into consideration what are the beliefs of this person because first of all myself i know I, ca I really cannot get along with someone who has ego it doesn't even have to be my partner even someone around me we just it, it just can't work i know i'm not equipped in that area i i just can't ego or a stingy person is it it just can't you there are those snows you know but there are people who can handle someone who's stingy there are people who can handle an egoistic kind of person you know so pick your heart because let, let me ask you a question you meet this person he looks nice but he's so ego egoistical can you handle it <laughs> can you handle it because You'll be, you'll be happy you have this person who looks nice, he's successful and those kind of things. But are you happy with him really? Are you happy? Are you being with him just for the optics? There's so much into marriage. There's so, so much into marriage and I think it all works well when you go for counseling. And you go for counseling also in places where it's not biased or chances that encourage people to get married so that they can have many weddings go to neutral people to advise you because i think advice we're just failing in advice and rushing into things and not praying about it because if you pray about it if you don't rush and being in love is such a sweet feeling and it clouds your mind you don't think up until you get into it and the realness comes the reality strikes you and you're like oh my god what did i do but then you have three children and these signs are always there anyone will tell you these signs are always there because i remember i don't want to talk these signs are always there they're always there they really are always there yeah they're always there you will see them pray about it go for counsel to people who are older than you and things will work out for your good it should it really will you see when you break up with someone when you love them and there are no kids involved it's very easy to heal but when you break up with someone you love and you have children it is a mess it is a mess i feel in today's society parents are failing parents of probably maybe me if i get married and there's no one to advise me that is a failure on the parents who have gone through it and they should advise or maybe there's a spirit of divorce that is roaming around. Maybe, just maybe. I don't know. I really don't understand. I don't understand how you can be married to someone for 24 years and think leaving them is the best decision. You go and start a life somewhere. You'd rather just go get another wife and if this your needs are not being met here, but respect her, honor that marriage, yeah? I know there are people, there are Christians who are going to watch this video and they will say that the Bible says when God created Adam, he created Eve. I don't want to get into that, that is very sensitive. But still in the Bible you hear cases of people who had several wives. Yeah, I, I really don't want to get into that one. What I want to say is that in the book of Timothy, I remember I even shared with the lady who was seated next to me because even her she was so much like, what? You're getting mad because of a cup? You want to live a... Literally, that man was complaining. That was the main reason. I, I thought he would even start with, maybe she's so disrespectful. Or things. But for 24 years, really, you'd, you'd always have fights if you stay with someone. But by 24 years, you should have learned how this person likes this, doesn't like this. You should... I don't know what is happening, what is happening to marriages. So yeah, I shared with this lady that was sitting next to each other, the book of Timothy. Timothy advises people, do not get married. I would advise you, do not get married because marriage is hard. But if you cannot stay without engaging in sexual activities, then get married so that you don't sin against the Lord. And 
staying single is not easy because we are humans and we have feelings especially if you have experienced being in a relationship with someone but what is happening i don't know for me it, it reached a point i was like i would rather get married to someone who has his own house and he would come to my own house and we spend time every now and then like the way old people used to do in traditional african society would have different hearts for the different wives and he would come and the kids knew that was the dad but i also understand there are cases of jealousy where a woman can do bad things to the other woman in conclusion <laughs> let me just say in conclusion in conclusion what i think we should do is just pray the only thing you can do is pray because the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing pray to god to give you the one that he kept for you because the bible says he knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs so he knew he knew if you are made for marriage or if you are but he knew he knew you just pray to god just tell him god if you are one who would like to get married please give me the one that you kept for me someone who loves children because please don't get married again to a person who loves doesn't love children not unless even you yourself you don't love children Give me someone, the one that you kept for me, because blessings of the Lord knoweth no sorrow or suffereth. If he gives you the husband that he kept for you, then you'll be able to handle difficult situations. You'll be the alpha and the omega. When the Lord is the beacon of the marriage, then because the people who are enjoying beautiful marriages, and I think, I believe, I don't think, I believe the beautiful marriages that we have right now are the ones that are god ordained these ones that you meet a guy over there and you like him a lady you look at her you're like ooh, apple of my eye when she talks music to my ears that is wrong we should pray about it you should ask god i have met this guy is he the one for me if he's not the one for me give me a sign and he listens my god god listens i'm not even here to preach i'm here to leave the truth for me there are cases that i prayed about god and he showed me signs he, he listens he listens he listens god listens just pray about it and he will give you the one because i, be, I am a person who believes everyone was created with their own person i don't think god intended for us to stay single everyone has a person for them and if we pray about it and don't rush into things then we'll not have this petty petty things because honestly marriages are ending out of petty things and i really don't also want to ignore the spiritual realm probably there's a spirit going around but that caller he rubbed me he really rubbed me wrong and the fact that he was a man and no i'm not attacking men i believe i also believe that men are the leaders men should be respected men should be listened to but now if you are supposed to be the leader and you're talking like that men where are mentors for men please we need people to remain men that they're the ones who are leading us and if there's no one to mentor them we are going down the drain as a society rise up rise up let us have people rising up to lead our men i know i'm just a young person probably you're watching this and you're wondering what are you saying who are you to advise us it just tickled me wrong i don't know who am i to advise you but i think what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong it doesn't matter who it's coming from yeah so marriage is a beautiful thing any person watching this and you want to get married even me right i pray whenever it, that thought crosses my mind i pray to god and i tell him your blessings know it no suffereth i am not perfect i get mad i get angry i say things i'm not supposed to say but just give me someone who will love me for who i am because when you get your person they'll understand you no one is perfect no one is 100 percent perfect but there's that facet if the enzymes when you are learning about biology the enzymes that digest certain foods you have to merge like this if you don't fit in like this and if it's not ordained by god then it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess and children get affected yeah in that color he really tickled me he really tickled me wrong and i don't know i just feel like in today's society we don't have 
those old people that will call people if you come from a place where you have old people who call you and advise you i am happy for you for me the person that calls me and advises me i think it's my uncle it's a certain uncle of mine and oh yeah we, we should always have those people that call you and advise you without their minds being clouded I don't want to talk much. I just want to say that if you you're planning to get married before you get into it, pray about it. Let God be the alpha. Let him lead you to let him allow the right man for you to find you. Let us not go looking for men. I don't I don't want to talk too much because I could talk too much about things I don't talk too much. But let us pray about it because seasons change. 2024 will come, 2030 will come, but God will still remain to be God. And if you put him at the center of it all, he will remove you from situations that will lead to messy situations. If you get my point, this has been the informative. Let me go back to, I was having this pineapple actually, and I remember I need to talk about this. And I'll, I'll always, if I have something that I feel can affect, will be of help to my subscribers or my viewers i'll always come down and sit i'll come and sit here and talk about it so yeah until next time ladies remember to eat your pineapples Mwah.